afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you are watching. Um, I am Mrs. Palmer Faber, one of the school counselors here at Central Cabarrus High School. And I am Miss Brown. I am also one of the counselors here at Central. And today we're going to talk to you guys and show you guys how to go into Navient to select your courses for next year. Um, just a little disclaimer, this is new for the entire district, so we all are kind of learning this together, um, but we are definitely going to do our best today to show you step by step how to go in and select your courses for next year. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to pull up your Google Chrome, I go to a web browser window, pull that up and sign into your clever account. Um, you guys definitely for students, you should know how to sign into Clever now. Um, it'll take you to Clever and then once you get in Clever, you're going to sign into Navient. OK, and so this is going to be your Navient account. So once you get into Navient, up at the top of the screen where it says courses, you're going to click on courses. And then you're going to click on manage course plans. And then the pink plus sign in the right hand corner, um, you're going to click on that. Um, then it's going to bring you to this page where it has your school. So you see here where it says Central Cabarrus Plan of Study, um, you're going to click on where it says select this plan. And then it has create a new plan and then it has copy courses from existing plan. So this is your first time doing this. So you're going to um, make sure that create a new plan is selected and we're going to click continue. OK. Once you see your plan come up, you can click on um, add courses under each subject area to select your desired course. And Mrs. Brown is going to demonstrate um, each area and how you put those courses in for each uh, subject area. And if this button up here pops up, make this my current plan, then you're going to go ahead and click it. And this will ensure that this is the active plan and it's kind of like your number one spot. So we're just going to wait for this to process here. All right, so now let's just take a look at what this is. Um, you need a total of 27 credits in here. So you're going to refer to this number 27 right here where my cursor is. This is the total number of credits that you need to graduate. So at the end here, our plan is going to have a total of 27 credits down here. And um, when we look at this plan, there are spots you see going down on the columns, 9th grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. Even if you have completed your ninth or 10th grade year or whichever, you're still going to go ahead and just add in what you took because this will also help you keep track of everything. And you can see when we look at the rows here, we have spots for English, math, science, social studies, and everything else. Now, I want to direct your attention right here to credits. What a credit essentially is, is one class. So one class equals one credit, in four credits, like what is listed under English, is four classes. And that just means one, two, three, four, one English class per year. And so that then you're going to have a total of four English credits towards graduation. So that's what you're going to be putting in there. Um, so then when we go in and add courses, you're just going to make sure that right here, right now, it says zero credits in plan because we haven't put anything in yet. At the end, it's going to say four credits in plan and it'll just match up with that number up there. So that'll kind of give you a good reference. And this will be especially important down here when we get to science, because you'll notice here that it's different. You only need three credits of science. So if you do add on another science class for your 12th grade year, then that one will be optional. And then when we go down here, you see where we can add in the electives. Um, and then you can add in world languages. And just as a note, if you are taking a world language, you do not need this in order to graduate. You only need it if you plan to be college eligible. And then down here at the very bottom where it says zero credits in plan and it kind of lists down um, over here, this is just the tally for the number of credits for each um, year. So ninth grade down here, which is selected. And then alternates, we'll get to this, but you're going to need a total of three classes chosen as your backup electives. So let's go back to the very top here and let's just kind of demonstrate what you're going to be doing. And we're going to hit add courses. 
So let's see, grade nine, um, I'm listed as a 10th grader in this demonstration. So let's say I took English one in ninth grade, so I'm gonna put that in. So grade 10, um, I was feeling a little brave, so I went into honors and then I wanted to stay in honors. And you'll see that you just have a list here. Um, and then you can just kind of choose which one you want. Now, if you need, like let's say you did not pass English three, or excuse me, English 2. And when you go into the 11th grade, you need to retake it. English 2 is an option if you needed to select that. And then we go on to grade 12, and then I wanted English 4 honors again. So then I'm going to hit Add Courses to Plan. And then you see right here, my class choices have popped up here. So then you can see four credits required, and then I have four credits in my plan. And so then you are done for your course selections for English. And then we're gonna do the same with math. So let's see, we're gonna do math one. And, um, and just as a note too, there is a difference between math two honors and then math two STEM honors. Um, you, if you are not in the STEM program, do not choose STEM. If you are in the STEM program, then choose STEM. Um, and let's say I'm being brave again, I'm gonna do math two honors. And then I wanna go into math three honors. And then when I'm a 12th grader, then I want to do pre-calculus honors. So I'm going to add those to my plan. All right, so that's four credits in the plan. Everything looks good here. Now for science, I'm going to go ahead in and add in my classes. So let's say I want earth and environmental science. Um, and then I want to go into standard biology. And then let's say I want to do physical science. Now, when you scroll down to 12th grade, you do not have to pick one if you already have your three above. You can pick another one if you want to add a fourth science, like let's say you want to go into the medical field and you just want to rack up your sciences. Um, then that is something that you would do, but just for the purposes of this plan, we're just going to leave that blank so that you can see what this looks like. All right, and so now we have our three credits in the plan, and then we have these over here. Um, and you may see some of these that have a little red flag and all this is is that it requires a prerequisite. So for math three honors, it does require a prerequisite, which is math two. So that's all that is. And then for social studies, I'm going to go in and add some stuff in here. And we're going to put in world history, civic literacy, American history, in American History too. If you have questions about which social studies you need to take, just come talk to your counselor. Um, we're not gonna get into that for the purposes of this demonstration. All right, and so now we have our social studies plugged in there. And then for health and PE, notice that we only need one credit. Um, you only have one required health and PE class, so we're just gonna select it and add it to our plan. And this is taken in the ninth grade, as you all already know. And there you go, that's been added. Now I wanna to go to college, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my foreign language credits. So I'm gonna plug in Spanish one, and then I'm gonna do Spanish two. And um, you would be done for college requirements unless let's say I'm really passionate about Spanish. And in grade 11, let's say I wanted to go to Spanish three honors. So I really like Spanish, so I'm gonna keep going. But then I decided by 12th grade year, I'm not really feeling it. And so I can just leave that blank. So I'm going to hit add courses to my plan. All right, and so now I have those up here as well. And I did go over the required two credits and you know, that's fine. So now down here we have our general electives. So this is where you're going to add in the electives that you would want to take. And one thing that you're going to need to pay attention to is the credit counts down here. So you'll see right now for freshman year, um, I have a total of six credits. And what you want to happen is for each of these to say eight credits. Now, and because you're going to have a total of eight classes each year, um, unless you're a senior and you're flexing, but for now, um, flex applications are not gonna go out until May. So just put in classes that you would not mind taking. Um, so let's just go ahead and add in some electives. We're going to add in this first row here. So I'm going to hit add courses for general electives. And for electives for these slots, it's only going to let you choose one at a time. So let's say um, ninth grade year, I want to do drafting one. And then let's say, let's scroll down to grade 10. And then I decide that, okay, well, I want to do advanced PE. And then for grade 11, 
and you scroll down, you keep scrolling because there are more electives open as you go through um, your, your grade level. Let's say I want to do Animal Science 1, so I'm going to add that in there. And then we scroll down all the way to grade 12. And let's say I want to do Animal Science 2 now. So then you, know, you keep scrolling and scrolling and then add courses to your plan. All right. And now we have this new row added on here. And if you'll notice, now we have seven credits here, six, six, and four. So what you're going to want to do now is we're going to add another round of four electives here. So let's go ahead and do that. So grade nine, um, let's see, let's do mixed chorus. And then for grade 10, let's say we wanted to do business management. I'm just kind of picking these at random here, but you make sure that you read through and choose a class that you would like to take. Um, and then let's say I wanted to do, um, let's do core construction for 11th grade. And then scrolling down to 12th grade, let's say I wanted another advanced PE. And then I'm going to add that to my plan. All right, so let's scroll down and look at our credit count again. You see, I just added these. Now, ninth grade, we're done here. You see, we got eight credits here, um, and you know, you're good to go for that. Um, and then over here for sophomore year, we have seven credits, same for um, 11th grade, and then we have five credits over here for senior year. So what you're going to want to do is when we hit add courses, it's going to take us back to this page, and we already finished for grade nine. So let's just scroll past grade nine and get to grade 10. So I'm going to add Adobe Visual Design. And then I'm going to scroll to grade 11. And let's say I want to do, let's just choose ceramics. And then let's say for grade 12, I decide that I want to do, um, let's do Holocaust and Genocide. And we're going to add these to our plan here. All right. And so now I have eight credits for ninth, 10th, and 11th. And now I still have only six credits over here um, for senior year. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and click add courses over here. And let's just do one more to add on another course for senior year. Um, and I'll just show you what happens with that too. So we're going to scroll all the way down to grade 12 and let's just say, um, let's just pick AP psychology and just add that in there. All right, so you'll notice that for 12th grade, you do have, we have seven credits here and we have run out of general elective spots. Now don't panic. Um, because what happens in 12th grade is a lot of times you've already finished a lot of your requirements, so you have a lot more leeway. Now, what we're going to have you do is click, you're going to go down here to alternates. And alternates are kind of like your backup classes, and there are extra electives that, you, you know, you kind of add on there if, you know, just to have more backups in case you don't get the one that you want. Now, let's hit add courses, and you can choose from your list here. So, um, let's say I'm going to add in Adobe Visual Design, let's add in AgriScience, let's add in Advanced PE, Animal Science 1 Honors. Um, and I did go over the amount that is required, so it's only required, the only requirement is three. So let's just add these to the plan here, and it, let's see. All right, so um, yeah, so we have extra alternates, so let's just go see what that looks like with our plan here. Yeah, so we do have extra alternates and um, you can just remove one um, just so that you may meet the three credit count. So I'm just going to remove that. Um, and this just kind of goes for everything. If you need to remove something, you're just going to hit this little trash can button here and just hit delete. All right, so this is our plan here. And I'm just going to hit this button here, make this my current plan. Um, and so now what you'll see here is that um, we do have a total of 31 credits. So we are over the 27, which is good. Um, and we have a little check mark. Um, and so we have everything that we need for graduation on here. 
So let's just go ahead and hit this button once you're finished and make sure that you look it over. When you hit the submit for approval button, this is going to go to your counselor. And what your counselor is going to do is we are going to look over this and make sure that everything is correct. So if you, I don't know, let's say you did not choose the correct math class, we will make sure that you get the right one that you need in order to graduate. Um, and another thing that you can do too when you're checking this over is you hit click for alerts and then it'll say please review your alerts. So I'm going to hit this little button here um, and it'll say this requires a prerequisite. So um, if you get a list that's and it's all prerequisites, um, you know, you, you're, you're going to be good to go as long as you have those prerequisites. Um, and if you need to know what those prerequisites are, you can actually click on the title here um, of the class and then you can read all of the um, information. So it'll say eligibility, what's the prerequisite? Prerequisite for English 2 is English 1, you got to be in grade 9 or 10, um, and no teacher recommendation required, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you can just kind of look through everything that you need there. Um, and then if you don't want to see the alerts anymore, you can hit hide alerts. So let's submit for approval. And it's processing. And guys, just to um, reiterate here that once you you have to submit for approval for the plan to be complete, like if you do not submit for approval, then we're not going to get your request and we're not going to see anything. Exactly. And another thing to note, too, is and I just highlighted this at the top. Um, once you have submitted it, you can no longer edit your plan. So make sure that you check everything over. Now, when counselors, when we get it, we can reopen it on our end if you have, say, made a mistake and we need to send it back to you. But once you submit it, then, you know, just consider this final. Um, and now you can kind of look over what you've chosen here. Um, but remember that if you did make a mistake, there will be opportunities for you to correct it. Um, just like we've done in previous years, we do send out confirmations. Um, so just, you know, make sure that you are being very thorough with this and that you look everything over before you hit that submit for approval button, okay? All right, so this kind of completes everything that you would need to do. Um, and if you need help from your counselor, we will be in the media center from February 2nd to the 4th. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week during third period. Um, so during your lunch, you know, you can come and ask us questions and we can help you out. So um, I believe that kind of uh, covers everything. Do you have anything else, Ms. Palmer? No, I think that's it. All right. Well, um, thank you guys for tuning in, and as always, if you have questions, then come talk to your counselor during um, third period in the Media Center between February 2nd to February 4th, um, and, you know, try this for yourself. All right. Well, thank you, guys.